Joyce Vance, uh, you read this sentencing memo. You saw the phrase substantial assistance, the recommendation for little to no actual jail time. What does this tell you as a former prosecutor? It strongly indicates that Flynn had something very valuable to offer to prosecutors, probably more than one thing, right? I mean, we see the three investigations on the face of the document where prosecutors indicate he's provided significant information. This notion of substantial assistance is actually embedded in the rules for federal prosecutors. It permits prosecutors to recommend a lower sentence than the one established by law for a defendant who provides assistance that helps them make additional criminal cases or criminal cases against additional people. So it seems that Flynn's cooperation for prosecutors has lived up to their expectations when they signed him up. And Joyce, when you see the, um, the notations of three investigations, and they note that one of them is a special counsel's investigation, one of them is criminal, and one is this mystery one, um, is, is it, I, one of the theories that I've heard out there is that Robert Mueller is doing his best to actually farm out as much of his investigation as he can, as he can to other entities, whether it's the Southern District of New York, whether it's the Eastern District of Virginia, frankly, in case he gets fired. So is this likely right. what this is all a piece of, that as the special counsel has unearthed stuff, possibly with Mike Flynn, he's been farming this stuff out? I don't think we can answer that for sure, Chuck. It could be that he's construing his mandate from Rod Rosenstein pretty narrowly. He can investigate into connections between the campaign and Russia. He can look at obstruction. But there's also this broader provision that looks, lets him investigate any matters that come up as a result of his investigation. So there's really, strictly speaking, no need for him to hand pieces off. He could be doing it for resource purposes. He has a limited number of prosecutors right. and agents. But he could also, as you say, be doing it in an effort to ensure that the case exists in so many different components of DOJ that it can't be squelched by, say, for instance, acting AG Matt Whitaker. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.